Are press-ons a viable business? Can they help you put food on the table or just make some passive income? In this video, whether hobby or full-time gig, we will be going over how to sell press-ons, including all of the materials to get things going as a form of income for you. Greetings and welcome back to my channel. In case you are new here, I am Paola of paolaponsanails.com your source for Japanese gel nail education and solopreneurship in the nail industry. So after shifting the focus of my nail business from salon only life to solely education, I dabbled in the press-on space. Press-ons are artificial nails that you typically glue onto the natural nails. They can last two to three weeks when the natural nail is prepped properly and sometimes they can be worn more than once. So I started press-ons because I thought this would be a great idea for me to still keep active and busy in the nail scene. And this was not just a thought for me, I actually did a lot of research and eventually bought all of the supplies, heck I even got orders. But then I kind of stopped cold turkey because I realized quickly that while this idea was viable, as in having the potential to succeed, I've been taught to do things right and to do them the best I can humanly possibly do them or don't do them at all. Which meant that I would have to choose between a press on business or giving up the nail mentor education route I also wanted to pursue. So I chose the mentor education route, hence why you get to hear from me on the weekly here on YouTube. Now there are so many questions in regards to press on nails like what to charge for them, what supplies are needed, how to size customers, and how to promote them. And before I begin, I want to recommend the best video on press ons information just recently released by Lauren Wireman from Wildflowers Nails. This girl is an outstanding entrepreneur and mentor whose work and journey I've followed for years. I don't hold a candle to her knowledge in the industry. So if after watching this video, I have not thoroughly answered your questions on press ons, do not hit the thumbs down button. Save that clip to go and check out Lauren's video, which I will link below in the description box. It is super important for you to watch both of our videos for you to make the best decision for your potential press ons business. In this video, I want to focus more so on the supplies and costs so that you can gauge what the potential profit margins will look like for you. So hang tight for that valuable information. I want to briefly answer the how to promote press-ons burning question. The press-ons you will be making are not the type you can buy at your local pharmacy store. No, your press-ons are customized. Your press-ons are handmade. Your press-ons offer personal customer support. Your press-ons are your unique work sold to your own personal and warm audience. All of what I just listed adds value to the set of nails you will be selling. Therefore, market each bit of that information I just told you. Now, what supplies do you need to make and send your orders? Here we go. To sell your nails, you will need a payment processing system and a state sales tax license. Yep, because you are now selling a good, not a service. To create the nails you will need, nail gels and art supplies, quality plastic nail tips, mounting supplies for the tips, files and buffers, alcohol and acetone. Now, assuming you're a nail tech, you probably already have all of these supplies, minus the mounting supplies perhaps, which will save you a huge chunk of startup money. To send out your nails, you will need mailers, cardboard jewelry boxes, small Ziploc type bags, glue, files, alcohol wipes, double-sided tape, optional adhesive tabs, especially good for flat nail beds and one day use, optional business card if you already have them, I highly recommend you include them if you do, postage, and to save for postage, you might have to cut down on some of the supplies just mentioned. So keep that in mind. So how much should you charge for a single color set and an at-home application kit? Nothing less than $30 with shipping. I would recommend making orders with multiple color sets to boost your earnings. For anything more extravagant, charge within the scope of your current nail prices. How to size customers. Rather than sending your customers a sizing kit, which is pricey and time consuming, include more rather than less nails in your sets. Your sets should include at least 20 nail tips, but you may want to double up on size four and five. You do not want to later be working on mailing one random nail for whatever reason, 
not the right fit, lost it, broke it, etc. Unless you already know the size of your customer's nail size, I would make it mandatory that before ordering any customized and extravagant nail set, all new clients must order a single color. This will not only give them practice applying and wearing them, but also they will let you know how they size. Now a few pointers for creating press-ons. Number one, work five tips at a time to ensure proper cure. Number two, the more layers you add, the less flexible the tips will be. This is both good and bad. Good for stability, but bad for fitting. Number three, film a little tutorial on your phone showing the application and removal process, then email it to your customer. Number four, there is a lot of busy work with press-ons. Therefore, if you have little hands, put them to work. Number five, wear and take great pictures to post on your social media feeds with your press-ons. Number six, if you are already a niche nail tech, you can market that aspect of your press-ons and sell them at a higher cost. For example, I use Japanese gel nail products. That's my niche. So I can say, design using Japanese gel nail products to increase their value and hopefully my sales. Now, if you have products that are made in America like gels, you can also say, design with USA made gel polish. You get where I'm going with this. Design ideas. To kickstart your press on business and not be at a stalemate as to what to create, I recommend starting with jelly nails. Not only are they super fun, but they can also be adhered with gel and therefore you can even market them to other fellow nail techs. Another design idea is um, no design. Just swatch a whole bunch of colors and be ready to ship because let's face it, we know you have a stash of gel polish. <laughs> Finally, pigment powders. These are easy, relatively inexpensive, and again, super fun. Now if the wheels are turning and you cannot wait to hit the floor running with this press on business. I want to reward you for sticking around and having that momentum. And so I created a mega giveaway of all of the supplies you would need to get started. As you saw in this video, we're talking mailers, jewelry boxes, adhesives, alcohol pads, tips, files and buffers, jelly polishes, and a load of no art shenanigans. Before I tell you how to enter, if you enjoyed watching this video, I post videos on Japanese gel nails and other quality soft gel nail systems like this one weekly. And sometimes I also throw in a bonus video Wednesday. And the only way to find out about those is to hit the bell icon below. So do so. And now to sign up for this mega giveaway, check out the description box for the special link to enter. Bye for now.